Okay, so March 24th, Level Up Leaders, our first Zoom call. <laughs> I'm going to try to do these. I want to try to do these once a month. Um, we'll kind of tentatively say the last weekend of the month, as long as that works out. And then it's going to be for coaches who are um, have Success Club as a goal and volume, obviously, and rank advancement goals. So um, it'll just kind of be a QA. and a And if there's a sticking point that we want to focus on, we can do that too. So, so what questions do you have this morning or areas you want to talk about or talk through? Um, really my main area that I'm, I mean, still is the price objection. It's really the only reason people have not signed up. Yeah. I can keep them talking all the way through until we eventually get to the prices and then they don't respond or they can't do it. And here comes Colleen. Oh, okay. So you had a couple conversations yesterday that you shared with me that you thought were hopeful. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to talk with them more yesterday? We, Amanda, she's the one who was telling me about how much she was paying for the gym and all that. She did not respond. She's not um, been active or anything. So okay, okay. She's she's been off and on since. Like she'll take a few days to reply and then okay, okay. She'll come back. So I'm hoping that she does respond. The other girl, Jasmine, that did message me about um, what was I doing. That was like a new message. We were talking and she mentioned she was breastfeeding. And hi. Have you guys met officially? Maybe not. I don't think oh, so. Colleen, you're muted. Hi. Sorry, it took me a minute to get on here. <laughs> That's okay. Have you guys officially met? In face in face in face to face <laughs> video? Uh oh, she's like frozen. What? You were frozen. Mm. Yeah, I think I have a bad connection. Yeah. You're Still? Frozen. Yeah, you're frozen. I can hear you, but there you are. Sort of. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you keep getting frozen. Say something. I think you're there. No. <laughs> I'm so muted. You're not muted, but you don't have a good connection. Yeah. No, you can't. I'm, I'm going to try moving so I have a better connection. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> We're talk can you hear us, though, if we keep talking? Yep, you can keep talking. Okay, we're talking price objection. Haley has a couple people that she's been getting price objections oh. with. So the other one is Jasmine. Yes. She, um, she mentioned she was breastfeeding and she was worried oh. about like psychology with that. And so I told her, you know, I know a ton of people that are drinking it while breastfeeding, but of course I can't recommend it because I'm not your right. doctor. Um, right. right. And she ended up not responding anyway after the price. So. <laughs> So you're taking people all the way through sort of talking to them at first and then sending them the email that gets their pain points. And then you send them another vid, um, email that has like, these are the tools I would suggest. Mm -hmm. Right. Does Not that gets to the email, but I do, if I don't do it on the email, I do that same thing on messenger. I'm sending them the videos. Okay. And then, so when they see the videos, then they kind of see the price sort of. They respond back after the videos because the videos don't have prices. <laughs> right, and so right. They're super interested and then, you know, we talk, okay, well, these are your options. And that's when they don't reply. Like they tell me what out of the videos they're interested in. And yeah. then they, they end up not responding because of the price options. Yeah. Man, Haley, I really feel like you're doing the right. Can you see? Go ahead. When you say videos in your Instagram, like, what do you mean videos? Like the beach body ones that explain. Oh, like in intro videos? Sorry, I did this late, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like it, there's beach okay. body on, the on the website. Yeah. Yep. So okay. somebody's interested in what you're doing. You talk to them for a little bit. You figure out what they need. 
I mean, Colleen, for you, it was pretty much like people were seeing your Transform 20. Yeah. So that was easy inviting, right? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. So how old are you, Haley? 20. 20. Okay. I'm just like surprised that m more people are like jumping on with me now. Like I'm only 22. But, like when I started when I was what, 19 or yep. 20, I yep. had the same problem. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if it's just because I've like posted about it before and then like came back to it and people are like, oh, it actually works. I don't know. But like so many people have jumped on with me. I think my biggest thing now is going to like being there to help them continue to do it because some of the girls have pushed back their shakeology yeah. and I think a few have canceled. I think they don't realize that it's like an ongoing thing. Like it's not going to be just like a quick thing. So right. I think that's going to be my biggest thing from yep. here on out but so Colleen yeah. really leaned so. into her family for the beginning like she had a mom her sisters yeah. like she she was strong initially and then the price objection plus school she was you know you're at least through this well no you are taking classes still right yeah I'm almost okay. done okay so that was kind of the challenge but um I guess what I would encourage you to do, Haley, is just keep the course. Like, mm -hmm. your the goal should always be to connect mm -hmm. people with the challenge pack, right? If you can't, then I think we need to find a way to mm -hmm. turn your no into a yes with something lesser. So, a trial of the Beachbody On Demand membership, a a sample pack of, because people can buy um, a sample pack of a week worth of shakes right i'm pretty sure there's a sample pack. Okay, so we could try all the flavors I really? yes yes so for i would challenge you if you are having this across the board and you're following the steps that are being taught to you to go back to the people who've said no to you and i understand this i was a student myself i get it this is a big deal if you want to give this a try here's what i can do for you and have them encourage them to try the shakes for a week or try the 14 day free trial with Beachbody On Demand so that they get a feel for it. And then, and it's a lesser investment. And then at least you're turning no into some volume, which is, which is income producing also. So maybe you, after you get them through the nose, you leverage the sample week of shakes and the Beachbody On Demand trial. So and you could even, you could even start your own gym that way. You could even start your own gym and get them in there for the, even though they had a minimal investment, get them in there and start loving on them and showing them what your gym is about and how your accountability can help them. Jamie is having very good success with that. Actually. Um, she promoted inviting to a lift for challenge group and she let people in on a free 14 day trial, which is, that is linked to the three month membership. So if you ever want to share the Beach Buddy on Demand 14 day free trial, the link you actually create for them for the share cart is for the three month membership. Do you guys both know that? It's attached to the three month membership. So if they don't cancel it before 14 days, they'll be charged hmm. for the three month. So you let them know that. But, but she had many people convert to a three month membership so that they could do lift four with her after the 14 day trial. So, so here's a lesser, a lesser investment, but it's a way to get into my virtual gym. Try the shakes for a week, try the 14 day trial. If you don't like it, you don't have to renew. If you want to level up, level up, but let's do this. You could, you could do that. Yeah. A good idea. I didn't think about like making a group out of out of it like that. Yeah. Have you started your own group? I've I've started a group. Yeah. It's going pretty well. I have about six or six like pretty consistent posters. So it keeps it going better than when I started before. Okay, good. So good. good. But I have about fifteen in there. So that's probably about right <laughs> for the number of Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm happy with it for now. 
so I can't complain. You guys are all doing Transform 20? Lost her again. Yeah, well, no, we're not all. Um, there's someone in there, Rachel's boss at the hair salon. She started, or she started with me, she was on Shakes, and she just had Beach Body on demand, and she was doing Clean Week at the time. And then she started a round of 21 Day Fix, and then is on doing another round of that now. Um, and then, so she's about like 40 something. So there's like a good mix of ages too, which kind of helps. My mom's in it, um, cool. Kendall. Um, there's some girls doing Transform 20. Good. I think all the girls that I've got started are doing training, but people that have, well, there's, yeah, just a mix. I don't cool. know. Okay. That's not okay. a requirement for me to be doing a certain thing. Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Haley, did you start your own yet? Or you had the um, refresh group you did? I had the refresh group and I don't have like a challenge group or anything because I've only had one girl actually sign up for Beachbody On Demand. Everybody else has gotten shakes or the refresh or something else. Okay, so maybe you consider that your that your invite this week is for your group that starts April first. You're going to start your own group, and you're gonna you're gonna encourage the new people that you talk to for the challenge pack. But if you can't, because it's a no, then you would allow them to come in with the sample shakes and the trial, and just you know, it hope, once they get in there, love them, love on them so much that they love the community. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds like a good plan actually yeah and that'll be because you should probably unless you or have you already put the clean week in motion I didn't start that yet I've mentioned it to a few people that I've talked to like in their messages but I've not posted anything about it they could still come in on the clean week too you know what I mean but just maybe you just make your post that you're going to open the doors to your own first virtual gym and you want, you know, you're inviting people to join you. And that's kind of the push. I put up, I put up a post this morning for my virtual gym because I'm not at success club yet either. So until you hit, until you hit your success club goals, you just once a week, you got to invite to your virtual gym once a week. You should be putting up a, a post that says, come join me. My doors are open. So that would be a good, you could check that out and see yeah, if that yeah. sounds good. Um, Colleen, do you have it? Does that help Haley? It does. I can definitely do that. Okay. Colleen, do you have any specific questions you want to? Oh, now we lost her totally. <laughs> oh. She's trying to come back. Haley, you know how to go in and check your sponsorship drill down now to make sure everybody's active? Yes. Okay. I usually do that t at least twice a week. I try to do it on, for sure, Wednesday nights mm -hmm. because Thursday or Wednesday morning because <laughs> by Thursday they're going to um, have fallen off if they're projected inactive. And then um, usually I do it once or twice a week too. I was planning on probably, I need more energized anyway, so I was going to go on mom's account and get that. Okay. They're active, get something else. And you have that labeled or you emailed compliance as being a U plus two account? Yes, they emailed me back and said. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Are you back with us, Colleen? <laughs> She's having serious troubles. <laughs> Are you with us? Maybe. Maybe your phone, maybe her phone would be better. Let's see. There you are. You back? She is having serious troubles. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about? I'm going to message her. I think it was mostly just coming up with a plan for how I'm going to invite people. Or hitting your success club goals this month. Yeah. I'm have her to try logging in from your phone. Because maybe her dad on her phone is somehow easier or something. Unless she's on that. Okay. So I did that. Did you check into that seven day self care challenge at all? 
You were in there. Did you see what I, I was doing? I was in there. I saw what you were doing. <laughs> it was, it's been crazy at work. I didn't get a chance to check in, but I read things. <laughs> it's going to be interesting because that closes today. And I had a lot of people in there. I got up to 27, which I was very, very happy about as the week went on. And a lot of them are a new people. So like if I take you and Susanna who wanted to be in there and um, Sharice wanted to be in there to check it out. So if you take three away, I think I had two ladies that are already in my virtual gym in there and one coach. So if you subtract, so like 21 people new, new possible, not a lot of them were very active, um, but I was messaging them here and there. So I know they were doing the thing. So I'm hoping I'm that here. now we hear you. That's at least. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Did it's you hear me talking to mom? No, no. Okay, good. I was like, I don't know why my connection's not working. I'm like, oh, I hope they can't hear me. <laughs> no, now at least we can hear you though. So that's okay. Okay. Oh um, man, Kendall has her veil on. She does. <laughs> Never you know, a dull moment. Oh my gosh, I did not know. Yeah, she doesn't live here anymore, but she was here for the weekend and she's just walking around in her veil. Oh <laughs> so the connection with Colleen is when we lived in Northwest Ohio, like 10, 12, 13 years ago, um, long time ago yeah i knew, we knew <laughs> colleen's parents her parents are <laughs> are in our gener our decade <laughs> <laughs> so colleen could technically be my kid but i would have been <laughs> her mom was a really young mom so her mom had four girls and colleen's sister um was actually one of our first babysitters for the girls so I don't, they're just a beautiful family. Yeah, they're just Rachel still has the baby touch. She she really you remember does. She, was it Ashley that she could always yes. put to sleep? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. She and still she, likes that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, um, Colleen, your turn. Do you have any specific questions? Sorry, I like totally messed up your call. Um, <laughs> <That's okay>. I <laughs> um I don't really at the moment. I okay. kind of had one downstairs, but I lost it um hold on let me think well your person never um, said it, right i know so i think she just has a lot of personal things going on yeah and i don't know if she's afraid to tell me um okay. i've texted her and said hey it's not showing up like yeah did you use the, the link i sent you okay. so i'm assuming i don't i don't really know but she posted on facebook that she needs new tires so I'm assuming other things just came up. So I'm going to, you know, be here for her if she decides yep. she wants to do it. Yeah. But I'm not going to. She's in our group. So okay. she sees things going on. Okay. Um, she's well. about to graduate. So I think she just has a lot going on. She doesn't have, like, super great family support, I don't think. So okay. Okay. Just, just being here. But, yeah. So I think one of the biggest things, which isn't a bad thing, but, like, so I have a couple girls that started early on and they're still doing it and still ordering, but like the communication is like not there. <laughs> and I'm like, I text them here and there and it's like super short, but they're not super interested in like the community aspect of it, which I guess is fine. But interesting. I don't, I don't know how to approach that. Like she's in the group, but she never posts, but like she ordered a performance pack in the beginning and then I think it hit again. And then I saw that she had an order for Shakeology too. Mm. So she must be liking it, <laughs> but the communication's just not there. You know what, Colleen? I, I feel like mm -hmm. you, in a lot of ways, I'm always like, I want to do everything I possibly can to make sure that uh -huh. they feel the support and that they feel the right. community, that I'm doing everything as their coach that I mm -hmm. promised them I would when they signed up, right? Right. But mm -hmm. this is what I've realized. Not everybody needs the same thing. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Unknown caller. Oh, that's weird. Hold on one second. Just hold on. Uh-huh. Hello? Oh, hi, Dan. 
Good, how are you? She is. Yeah. Hold, hold on, girls. Talk amongst yourselves. This is for my teenage daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's insanity, Haley. Awful. <laughs> is it? It's, oh. like it. it's just, it's, I have to modify a lot of it. Because okay. Yeah. We do a lot of jumping and we work out outside because like my house. Where do you live? Florida. What state are you in? Flor oh, that's so cool. <laughs> It's really not. It's just hot. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I saw that you work out outside. I'm like, oh, that's cute. That's so cool. Yeah, like our house is like a home-built house, so we would like, tear it down if we did all that jumping in here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have a girl in my gym that um, lives in an old farmhouse, and the rooms are really small, so she literally does this in her bathroom because it's the biggest room. She puts really? her computer on the back of the toilet, has her step. <laughs> And just uses the space as she can. <laughs> no, it's it. It makes it happen. <laughs> I no. know. And she, um, she actually went to the police academy with my boyfriend. So she is a cop, and she works night shift. So last night she came home. She gets up at three a.m. and um, she got home. She goes, "I'm not tired yet," and I knew I wouldn't want to do it when I woke up. So I did it now at like three thirty wow. in the morning. <laughs> wow. wow. So awesome. it's kind of cool to see the different times that everybody works out and posts in the group and. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's fun. Yeah. Okay, so that was my, my daughter has her second driving lesson in car Oh, lesson. man. That's who that was, calling to make sure he could gotcha. drive. So, um, yeah, so I mean, Colleen, you're, you're doing what you need to do by reaching out to her every so often. So like, yeah. when, I, when I see an order hit my back office, I send them a thank you email. I saw that okay. your next order of shake is coming. Thank you so much and your continued trust in our products. And then me as your coach, I'm always only ever a message away. She may not need okay. more than that from you. And okay. I have plenty of people who are my customers that I don't help or I don't feel like right. I do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So keeping the open okay. line, I think is fine. So yeah. Okay. Any, anything else? Um, no, but I think I just need to open the, I haven't posted yet about the discount coach for everyone. I just kind of mentioned it to a few people. So I think I should probably post that yep. in my Facebook group because people's orders are starting to hit again. Yeah. The other thing that you so, can try, go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. No, nope, that's okay. Um, I've tried this a few times and I actually just, I'm going to do it this month also is, um, uh -huh. And Haley, you may even be able to think of people to do this with too, is offer an incentive for people that refer a friend to you. Oh, okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I have extra um, tanks that we made for our Find Your Tribe, Love Them Hard. And for, uh -huh. for, for customers or coaches that refer someone to my virtual gym, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a, a tank. So you could, if, okay. you have, if you have samples, if you have something, um, right. I mean, Haley, I know you're giving a lot of stuff away right now. You just did the, <laughs> you just, did, just keep it as food for thought. You know, yeah. I think you have your plan, yeah. but in the future and Colleen, this might help you cause you got to find one more person too this month. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe you, in your, in your groups, you offer um, an incentive to refer a friend to you for the month. Yeah. Of, when you offer the discount, okay. you can say. I just, is there a way to do that without sounding like salesy? You know what I mean? Yeah. To offer a giveaway to your people in your group? Well, like referring a friend. I'll tell you how I did it. So yeah. this is going to go, how do you word what? it? Yeah, how do you word it? So I put this up uh -huh. in my, this is what's going to go up in my gym tomorrow morning because I was just working on that before. Uh -huh. Um, there go. Okay. Um, one more thing. So, uh, for the month of April, we're going to work on a book together. Uh, how are you feeling mama? We'll review uh -huh. one two, three each day. Da, 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 da. Okay. I want to offer a little refer a friend challenge. I have mm -hmm. six 
small Find Your Tribe tanks to share with anyone bringing a new tribe member in this month. The new member needs to get set up with Beachbody On Demand membership and one month of performance line or shakes in order to fully participate in our April challenge. Simply mm -hmm. get your friends in touch with me and I'll take care of the details. Okay. That's I like I that. Yeah. And then it then they don't have to do anything except get them in touch with me. But I, I wanted them to know like they have to they have to invest to get, you know, right. into the challenge. <clears throat> It's, it's okay. in my mind, I know I'm doing this to help me reach success club. I'm right. hoping that they'll help me find the lives that need to be changed from, you know, right. my heart is in the right place. <laughs> I and need something help. for, something for Haley to think about as well. Like when I first started, I was just like adding people to my challenge group. Like I never added people without asking them, but like I would talk to them and talk to them and they would want to do it, but they never bought anything. And it was, basically this like freeloading group that was exhausting to keep up with because nobody was pouring into themselves and investing in themselves and so just be careful to not add a bunch of people that haven't like hurt you know what I mean it sounds bad but like you don't want to be just pouring yourself into this group where nobody has purchased anything right. and they made an investment in themselves so that's something to think about too and that's how I've kind of done this group is because like Rachel added somebody from her hair salon that used to be in it that never bought anything. And I'm like, Rachel, please ask me, this is yeah. my sister, yeah. um, if you're going to add someone. And she ended up um, switching over to me as her coach, which was good. But yeah. I'm like, and, and then I changed the settings into the group center where, where nobody could add themselves, you know what I mean? Add people themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I made this group more of people who've purchased. So... That's very good advice. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. something a lot of us have done along the way, like Lori right. for sure did it. And it feels like an easier way to get people in your group, but they're not. Yeah. Enough. And then for goodness right. sake, then there's people that I've had people sign up for the flip and challenge pack and never show up. So just because they buy it. Right. <laughs> right. Really right. Easy. Definitely. Well, there was this girl that she was going to be like the first one to sign up with me with transform 20 and I sent her the share cart and it, she never bought it. And she's still in the group. So I don't know how to go about that. If I should just delete her because I've messaged her and she's just ghosted me and I don't know where to go from here. Yeah. I do. I would take her out. I would take okay. her out. Yeah. She's, okay. she's not, she's not doing anything in there anyways. Yeah. yeah it was just so weird. Like she's getting married and she was all excited about it. And then yeah. I was yep. like, hey, your order didn't go through. And then I sent her one, like, maybe a few days or a week later, like, hey, if you still want to do this, great. If not, just let me know. That's yeah. all I said. I and <laughs> nothing. Yep. I just don't get it. Like, I'm not going to be offended. Yep. Exactly. Just just tell me no, and I'll, I'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yep. All right. Well, that, I think, was a very productive call. Well, I'll share it with mm -hmm. Jamie in case there's anything she wants to take away from it but um colleen i think i mentioned i'm going to try to do these once a month these are going to okay. be our level up leaders for people Sounds who are, good. have a have a volume goal have a success club goal mm -hmm. have a rank advancement goal you guys are my uh, emerging okay. diamonds and um we're going to shoot like tentatively for the last weekend of the month we'll just kind of make that a blanket okay. statement unless, unless things are going on in life that would prevent that so um, okay. Well, this isn't even the last. This is the fourth. The next week. Yeah. Is it? yeah. Oh. Well, well, the thirty-first. So this one so works we'll say, better. So tentatively, we're going to say April twenty-eighth. Yeah. Okay. So April twenty-eighth okay. will be the next one. And if Sunday mornings work, we can, we can, we can always modify the time too. So. Okay. 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 Good job, ladies. Go get your goals this month. All righty. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye.